morning. Are you having a good day? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Now, let us try learning how to add numbers by making a story. Let's write an addition stories for our exercises. Do you have your math book? Can you get your red book? And let's start writing a story. Are you ready? Let's go get your math book and your pencil. Okay, we go to the next page. Okay, today we will learn how to make addition stories using three digit numbers. Ready? I will start. Here, we can write a story for the numbers 205 and 718 for page 87. What can we write? Teacher wrote, Matt has 205 bat and Cindy has 718 bat. How much do they have all together? Let's see. I will write 205 plus 718. I start with a bigger number. Eight plus five is eight in my mind, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And carry one to the next place. Since we cannot write 13 there, so we have to put one in the tenth place. So, one here. One plus one is two. And then seven plus two is nine. 923. So we can write a bar model. Matt and Cindy. So we have 923. Matt and Cindy has 900. 23 bat. Good job. Can we go to the next page? Don't worry, I will help you. Okay, let us go to page 88. And I am getting hungry. I see a lot of food. Mmm, yum, yum. It's delicious. I'm hungry. But first, I will write addition stories for letter A and B. For letter A, teacher will write, Teacher Carlos has 150 vanilla donuts and 240 chocolate donuts for all teachers. How many donuts does Teacher Carlos have? Let us write. 150 plus 240 will give you 390. Let us add 240 plus 150. 0 plus 0, 0. 4 plus 5 will give you 9. And then 2 plus 1, 3. So let's draw the bar model. Teacher Carlos have 390 pieces of donuts. Wow, that is a lot of donuts. What about letter B? Do you have your own story for letter B? If not, I will help you. Teacher will write, Polly had breakfast for 295 bat and lunch for 382 bat. How much did Polly spend? Let us draw the bar model first. If the number is, sh is shorter than the other number, you draw the bar short. And if the larger and if the number is larger or bigger than the other number, you draw the bar long or bigger. Like this. 295 is smaller than 382. So the bar is smaller. And then the bigger number, you draw a bigger bar. Okay? Now let's continue. 
Let us add the numbers. I write the bigger number first. 382 plus 295. 5 plus 2 or 2 plus 5 is 7. 5 in my mind. Then plus 2. 5, 6, 7. I will count with the bigger number first. Let's go to the tens place. 9 plus 8 is 9 in my mind. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Plus 1 in the hundreds place. 1 plus 3 is 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 4, 5, 6. So we have here 677. And we can write Polly spent 677 back for his food. Wow, that is a lot of bad. Now we can go to the next page, page 89. Are you finished for page 88? You can pause the video and then turn it on again for the next page. Are you ready? Let's try making an addition story for letter E on page 89. I will write Pan has 236 marbles and Pooh has 528 marbles. They are playing with marbles. How many marbles do they have together? Let us draw the bar model first. 236 and 528. And then let us add. 528, I start with a bigger number. And then let us add. 8 plus 6 is 8 in my mind. 8 and then plus 6. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Carry 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. 5 plus 2 is 7. So we have 764 marbles. We can write the boys played with 764 marbles. That is a lot of marbles. Now, let's try the last one. Letter B. Hmm. What would be for letter B? I write, Teacher Alex will give 349 books to students. And Teacher Carlos will give 457 books. How many books did teachers give? Oh, that is a lot of books. But first, let us draw the bar model. And then, let us add. I will write bigger number first. 457 plus 349. 7 plus 9. I will, I will count with the bigger number first. 9. 9 in my mind. And then... 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 16, 6 here and carry 1 in the next place. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 0 here and plus 1 in the next place. 1 plus 4 is 5. And then 5 plus 3 is... Yes, 4. 5. 5. 1 plus 4, 5. And then plus 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's 8. So we have 806 books. Teachers gave... 806 books to students. Wow, that is a lot of books. Can we go to page 90, the next page? Okay, let's go there. 
Okay, let us go to the next page on page 90. Are you on page 90? Let us start. Let's start with the letter C. What story can we write for the numbers 124, 205, and 519? Teacher wrote, Emma has... 124 pens. Juan has 204 pencils. And Uji has 519 crayons. How many things do they have together? Let us count. First, let's write the bar model. And then let us add the numbers together. 124 plus 205 plus 519. What would be the answer? Let us add. Okay, let us add. 4 plus 5 is 4 in your mind and then count plus 5. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 plus 9 is 9 in your mind, and plus 9 again, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I stopped with my 9 fingers, so the answer is 18, 18. But since we cannot write 18 in the 1's place, we put 8 here, and the 1 we carry over to the 10's place. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 0 is still 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. Let's go to the hundreds place. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 5 is 3 in your mind and then count plus 5. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Is this the answer? Let us check. Yes, that is the answer. We can go to letter D. What would be another story that can you think of? The teacher wrote, Xiao Kun has 200 apples. Sun has 418 oranges. Oms has 377 bananas. How many fruits do they have? Let us add. Let us count them. But first, let's write the bar model. After that, we can add. 0 plus 8 is 8. 8 plus 7 is is let us count eight in your mind and plus seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen i stop with my seven fingers because the number is seven so the number is fifteen i write here five here and one in the tenth place let me correct my writing. I will make the number 5 more beautiful. Okay. No, it looks like an S. Let me change it again. 5. Okay. 1 plus 0 is 1. And 1 plus 1 is 2. And 2 plus 7 is 2 in your mind. And then plus 7. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We go to the hundreds place. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 6 in your mind. And count plus 3. 6, 7, 8, 9. 9. That is the answer. They have 
995 fruits. Is it correct? Ah. I am correct. It is 995. We are done on page 90. We can go to the next page. Oops, let me erase. Now, there are three crates. Crate A, crate C, crate B. Let us write the numbers. Crate A has 115 more mangoes than crate B. Crate C has 45 more mangoes than crate A. Crate B has 150 mangoes. How many mangoes does he have in total? First, we get the number from crate B because this is the number that we will use to add all the numbers. Crate B is the given number. From crate B, we can add crate A. Crate A has 115 more than crate B. So we add 115 from 150. So crate A, 150 plus 115 will give you 265. Let us add if that is correct. 153, 150 plus 115. What would be the answer? 0 plus 5 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. And 1 plus 1 is 2. 265. And crate C has 45 more. It has 45 more more mangoes than crate A. So plus 45. So here we write 265 plus 45. What would be the answer? Let us write. 265 plus 45. 5 plus 5 is easy. 5 plus 5 is 10. We carry 1 in the 10th place. So 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 4 is 7 in your mind and plus 4. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11, 1 here and carry 1 in the 100th place. So the answer is 1 plus 2 is 3. Is it correct? Let us check. Yes, we are correct again. It's 310. Now, we can add A, B, and C. How many mangoes do they all have together in total? A, B, and C, how many? We can add. Let's erase. It's 725. How? Let us add. We have. Let us add. 5 plus 0 is 5. And 5 plus 0 is 5 again. 6 plus 5 is 6 in your mind, and then plus 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And 11 plus 1 is 12. Carry 1 in the hundreds, place. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 3 is 4, 
5, 6, 7. See, 7. So we have the same answer. We are done on page 91. Do we still have another page? Let us check. Oh, before we go to the next page, I forgot. We have to write the bar number. Crate A, crate B, and crate C. It has all the mangoes. Okay, if you're done from doing exercise on page 92, we can go to page 93. Let us find the missing numbers, which will include regrouping. Teacher, what is regrouping? Well, regrouping means we arrange. Okay, we arrange the numbers using place value. So, we arrange numbers. To the proper place value. How? Let me show you. What number can we put inside the box in the ones place? Well, maybe I will put number 8. 8 plus 4 is 8 in my mind, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. See? 12, but we carry over. Plus 1. So 1 plus 3 is 4. So we will have 4. Now what number can we add to get 7? Hmm, maybe I will put 3. So 4 plus 3 is 7. Okay, so we have 7 there. And then we can go to the hundreds place. 1 plus 2 is 3. So the answer is 372. Now, let's fill in the boxes. Four ones. Four ones. And eight ones. What will that be? It's 12. But we cannot put 12 here, remember? That's why we carry over. So what can we do? We regroup. We arrange the number to the proper place value. Okay? So it will be 4 tenths. Teacher, where is four tens? Four tens is this one. The one plus three. Four. So it's four tens or forty. Because it's in the tens place. And then three tens. Teacher, where is three tens? This is three tens from the tens place. So three tens is 30. And 40 plus 30 is 70. So you have seven tens. And this one. One hundred and two from two hundred. So that will be 300. So what are the missing numbers? The missing numbers are 3 and 8. See? And 3. So 372 is the answer. How can we know if our answer is correct? We can subtract. 
take away minus sign. 372, we will use the answer, the final answer, subtract the final answer or take away the final answer from 238. That will give you that will give you, the answer will be 134 from this one. Hmm? Teacher, how? Well, I will show you. We can write here 372 minus 338. 372 minus 238. What would be the answer? It says here it's 134. Okay. So the first digit is 4. How, teacher? We subtract 8 from 2. But 2 is small number and 8 is big number. How can number 8 take away from number 2? So we will borrow from... Number 7 in the tens place, 70. So 70 will become 60 or 7 will become 6 and 2 will become 12. Now, we can get 4. How? 8 in your mind and count. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And how many fingers did I count? With 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it's 4. And then we go to the tens place. 6 minus 3, or 6 take away 3 is 3 in my mind. 3, 4, 5, 6. 3. Another way is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And take away 3. 1, 2, 3. So the answer is 3. 3 take away 2 is 1. So, we have the same answer. That is one way to check if our final answer is correct. But, do not worry. We will learn this one in the next lesson. Now, we can go to the last page. Page 94. John thinks that adding 99 to a number is difficult because he needs to regroup the ones and tens. Yes, we will regroup ones and tens, but it is not hard. It can be easy. Mary think, thinks that adding 99 to a number is easy and does not involve regrouping. Hmm? Mm -mm. We need to regroup so we can add numbers easily. How can we do it? Well, I will show you. 8 plus 9 is 17. So we carry 1 from 7 going to that tens place. See? So we will put 1 here. And then we can add. See? 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. And then 7 plus 9 will give you 16. 7 in your mind and then count 9. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. See? But we carry the number to the hundreds place. So 1 plus 2 is 
3. And then 3 is the final number for the hundreds place because 3 plus 0 is 3. So the answer is 367. We are finished. I'll see you again next week. Don't worry, next week we will learn some more. And I will give you worksheets. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.